I love the stories of Easter week. They start with the sacred triduum on Holy Thursday, when Jesus gathers for the Passover with his apostles, his disciples, and breaks bread with them with the words, this is my body, this is my blood, do this in memory of me. It was the command that he gave them. And then we move to the crucifixion where it was only the women and John that stayed at the foot of the cross while others had denied him. And especially Judas. Judas, who so desperately wanted a political ruler as a Messiah. Judas, who wanted to prove that the Messiah would only come through politics or nationalism. He abandoned Jesus and never forgave himself. The others didn't continue to follow him. In fact, some denied him, as did Peter. But with those days in the tomb, which sometimes are off, often also expressed as days in a womb, the term at times, in ancient times, was often used interchangeably. Jesus was resurrected. He came back to life. But when the women on Easter Sunday went to the tomb to anoint the body, there was a young man there who told him that he was risen. And so they went to tell the disciples. But the disciples really didn't believe the women. In many respects, they had to see for themselves. Now I'm interchanging all these stories as told by the different gospels. But at one point, Mary Magdalene asked the gardener at the tomb where they have laid Jesus, where they have placed him. And the gardener says, Mary, and she recognizes his voice. And he tells her, don't cling to me. Don't cling. So often, we expect things to happen in the mode that they happened before. And I'm sure Mary Magdalene wanted this close, intimate relationship with Jesus that she had previously. But Jesus told her this was not meant to be. So Jesus also appeared to the disciples who had locked themselves in a room because they were afraid that they were going to die too. He told them not to be afraid and peace be with you. And he sent them. But one of them who wasn't there, he didn't believe it. He needed to see for himself. These apostles, these disciples, these women are so much like us. These stories describe us to a T. We find ourselves at different places in our life so much in these stories. Where we're hiding out of fear, where we want to cling to the past 
where we don't understand and we doubt and we don't believe the witness of women. And then we hear the story of the people walking to Emmaus. And they're so disappointed in what happened that Jesus was crucified. And they're telling this story of their disappointment to Jesus himself, but they do not recognize him. Where have they laid him? And what is happening in this story? Why don't they recognize him? But when he spends time with them, they recognize him in the breaking of the bread. You see, the breaking of the bread was a tradition. And in carrying out that traditional action, they came to see the risen Christ. And as he opened up the mysteries of the scripture and what had happened, their hearts burned. Their hearts burned because Jesus had opened their hearts to understanding the scripture through this ritual act of the breaking of the bread. And we have the other story of Peter, who, you know, he doesn't understand at all. And he says, I'm going fishing. In other words, I'm going back to what I did before. And he doesn't catch anything. until he is told by someone he recognizes as the Lord to cast his nets in a different spot. What has he got to lose? He hasn't caught anything. Anyone who fishes understands this. Someone gives you some advice, you go, well, it's worth a try. And he hauls in this huge load of fish, a miraculous load of fish. And they pull it to the shore. And the man on the shore, whom they recognize as the Lord, takes the fish and breaks bread. This is what we are called to do. To break bread with Jesus. To come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. So that our hearts burn within us. And the scriptures are opened. Despite our doubts. Despite our questions. Despite our desire to claim despite our desire to go back to things as normal, despite our having abandoned him, despite our having denied him. Jesus continues to call us to new life in the breaking of the bread.